This is Strelitzia reginae, or bird of paradise. Very common uh, tropical effect plant. It is used in warmer areas. Uh, hardy to the mid-twenties Fahrenheit, I would say. And uh, I live in an area in an inland valley in Northern California. I have this one, but it's under a cover, so it's protected from frost pretty well. And I've used it for years in our area, but I found that when it's used in more open areas, especially younger plants, we buy these larger so that they have some insulation when the first winter hits them. And uh, so it's, it's marginal in the high 20s Fahrenheit. So I'd say that's kind of the bottom level of uh, its tolerance for cold and uh, can take a lot of heat. Um, in hot, dry areas, I would say you would want to protect this from the hottest part of the day so that the leaves are less likely to burn. You get a good look at the leaf here. These leaves are about 12 to 18 inches long on average. The whole plant can get... Uh, uh, you know, these here, they're sitting down in a well a little bit, but they're probably about four to five feet at the highest. You can see that the flowers sit up a little higher than most of the leaves. And, um, but I've, mine are sitting under this uh, covered area, as I mentioned, and they are six feet tall uh, for sure and pushing seven. So I would say the upper limit of this plant is probably closer to six feet and maybe seven. And then widthwise, the clump divides or expands over time, so probably uh, three to four feet is a good spacing. They bloom better as the clump gets denser. You can divide these kind of infrequently. You don't want to do that too much because as you loosen them up, they're not going to bloom quite as well. This is a mature planting around the um, courthouse in Santa Barbara, California. And this was taken at the end of December, uh, right near uh, New Year's actually. So you can see that they bloom very heavily in the winter. And uh, the book says these bloom best in cooler weather. And my experience is they bloom pretty much year round, but the heaviest blooms are during the winter. And that's true where I am, where it's more frosty than it is in Santa Barbara. So these are also deer tolerant, not that most areas near the coast or where it's warmer that you would use these necessarily have deer, but that's something that's good to know. And also mine are fairly drought tolerant. Once they were established, these do not suck up a lot of water. So I think you can be pretty stingy with water once these are established. That's most of what I want to tell you, you know, in terms of design, these, what I love about this plant in design is there's nothing quite like the texture and the look of it. Um, some people don't like it because they've seen it for so long, but for me it's great in a corner for some real um, uh, dramatic impact and it's great to light up. It throws incredible shadows on walls and uh, I think that's something to take advantage of in a in a design standpoint. I also like these clumped at the base of a palm tree that's taller. It's a really nice dramatic effect. And that is Strelitzia reginiae, bird of paradise. Enjoy.